video will demonstrate finding books and articles using NB Search and discuss when is the best time to use these sources and how you can evaluate the sources to ensure that they are credible and appropriate for use on a college research assignment. We'll begin by looking at books. Books are really great for detailed information. They can provide context and background on a topic. But books take a really long time to write and get published, so they're not the best choice for current events or very recent news items. Remember, ebooks offer the same exact content as print books. The only difference is how you access them. So if you do a search for books in our NB search, you'll see that both ebooks and print books come up. And if you're trying to access something from off campus, then ebooks will probably be the best bet. If you find a print book that you need, you can always request that to come pick it up at the library. Now we'll switch over to NB Search to do a quick demo of finding books, both print and ebooks, in the library. We will begin on the library's homepage and we will locate NV Search and its search bar right here in the center of the page. This is where you can type in keywords related to your topic. And I have used internet privacy as my keywords, um, just like we did in the exercise that you looked at prior to this library session. Once I've typed in the keywords, I can hit search and it will show me all of the resources in the library and in the library's online collections that have to do with internet privacy. And that's a huge number. As you can see here, it's 185,000 results, a little bit more than that. So let's start with some ways that we can narrow that down just a little bit. One thing that we learned in the pre-library exercise was typing quotation marks around your search term, which can narrow because it's looking for a specific phrase, internet privacy, rather than just those two words. So if I do my search again with the quotation marks, it drops to 5,000. So that's a really good start. Now, if we wanted to limit to just a particular resource type, that's when you would use this resource type option on the left-hand side. And if we'd like to do books first, I just clicked on show more and here we have our books limiter and it's telling us that there are going to be seven books. I can click on that and then this will bring up all of the books containing the phrase internet privacy. And anything that says online access is going to be an ebook. Now if you see a title that interests you, there are a few things you can learn from looking at this entry on the screen here. For example, the title, understanding the digital world, what you need to know about computers, the internet, privacy, and security, the author's name, the publisher, Princeton University Press, and the date of publication, 2017. You can click online access to read the ebook right on your computer. And finally, you can use this little symbol that looks like quotation marks to create a citation for the book. So this will generate an MLA citation. You can switch to APA and you can copy and paste that right into your research paper. Um, we do encourage you to always double check the citations, but it's a great start. So that's how you can locate a book or ebook and all of the important information about the book using NV Search. Now that we know how to find books, another good, good skill that will be useful to have is knowing whether a book is credible and appropriate to use on a college assignment. So the first thing you can do is look for about the author, and this is typically at the end or maybe the beginning of a book, a short biography about who wrote it. You may also want to research the author. You can just put their name in Google and see what else they've written. Another thing you can look for is where the author got their information from. And sometimes you might see a list of references at the back of the book or possibly footnotes on the bottom of the page. 
you can check the publication date of a book. That's usually found on the copyright page, or if you find the book in the library, that would also be on the library record where you looked it up. And then finally, what do you know about the publisher? Are they reputable? Uh, a lot of the academic books you're finding will come from university presses. Next, we'll take a look at articles. It's a different type of source, but you can use the same tool, NV Search, to find articles. Now, these are shorter and they're narrower in scope than books. Periodicals, which is where articles come from, um, those include magazines, newspapers, and journals, and they're published daily, weekly, or monthly. So because they come out so often, they are a great choice for current events and recent news. Okay, so now we'll take a break and go to NV Search and do a demonstration for finding articles. So I'm going to turn off my book filter by clicking on the X. And we're back up to the 5,000 results for internet privacy. This time, we'll take a look at the resource type newspaper articles and articles. So we can actually check both of those and apply filters. And now we will have results that are articles from newspapers, magazines, or journals. And another thing to keep in mind with the article search is it's usually a good idea to look for more recently published articles, especially if you are researching something that's um, currently in the news or is a constantly changing and evolving subject. So in this case, something about internet privacy from 1987 probably wouldn't be helpful unless we're taking a historic view of that. So let's change this to 2010 and we will in that way weed out any results that are older than 10 years. So 2010 to 2020 and I'll just hit refine and I've narrowed my results by about half and I know that anything I'm reading was published within the past 10 years and if that's still too much I can narrow it even further to a five-year range. So let's browse some of these titles and with the articles you can access them the same way that you do the ebooks. Um, clicking on the link that says full text available will bring you to that article and you can also use the same citation tool here. And another helpful tip for articles is the email tool. So you can click on this little envelope icon and actually send yourself a copy of the article. So if you're doing your research now, but you don't have time to read everything and you'd like to save the articles to read later, then emailing them to yourself might be a good idea just to keep track of them. So I'm clicking on full text available and it shows me that it's available in this database and that will open up and now if you're off campus and you haven't logged into MyComNet yet you will at this point see a login screen for MyComNet. Uh, since I happen to already be logged in it brought me right to this article so if you do see that don't worry, it doesn't mean that you did something wrong. It just needs that extra um, authentication. So here's the article right here. Internet privacy is at risk, but not dead yet. Okay, now that we've looked at how to find articles, let's talk about how you'll know if the article is credible and appropriate for college research. Just like with the books, you can research the author to find out more about their background or their specialty. Um, you might even find that they have social media accounts and you can see what kinds of things the authors are posting on social media. You can check the publication date of the article. This is really important if it's current events that you're researching or something where you need the latest research or the latest reporting. 
Again, where did the author get their information? Just like with the books, you can look for references or if they mention any studies or sources of data. And then a general tip is to watch out for things like opinion articles, editorials, and op-eds. And these can provide points of view on a topic, but they're different than a factual uh, news or reporting piece because it's that author's opinion. So they may use facts to support it, but the article itself is going to have uh, a bias. To review what we learned in this video, NB Search is used to locate books both in print and ebooks and articles. There are many limiters that you can use to help narrow your search, including narrowing by source type or by publication date. The Cite tool can give you an automatic MLA or APA citation, but always double check. And finally, always evaluate your sources for credibility before using them on a college research assignment.